With just one clap, I can disappear. As you can see, I'm gone. But I can come back with just another clap. There you guys have it. Magic trick. So, what is going on YouTube? This is Sam from Team Samurai X1 here. And today, guys, I am coming at you with my very first top 5 video. And I know you guys love top 5 videos or like top 10 videos. But I'm going to make my segment the top 5s. So today is going to be my top 5 favorite decks of all time. So without further ado, let's get started. Are you guys ready? Because I know I am. Let's get it. Let's go. Coming in at number 5, we have Constellers. Yes guys, Constellers are considered one of my top 5 favorite decks of all time. And the reason being was that it was affordable. If you guys didn't know, Constellers first appeared in TCG in the Hidden Arsenal 7 set. In 2013, I didn't have big bucks to play Dragon Rulers or Prophecy, so I decided that it was the best for me to play Constellers since they were affordable and their artwork just looks incredible. Take a look at Pleiades for example, this man's a boss. He's one of the biggest boss monsters to deal with during the time. Well aside from Draco Sacks and Big Eye, Pleiades was still very powerful. Bouncing back cards during either player's turn to interrupt a lot of combo plays was amazing. Don't forget Omega as well. Omega makes all your Constellar monsters unaffected by spell and traps, which was pretty amazing. Chaos was one of my favorite cards in the deck. He makes every rank 5 XYZ possible. You got back row? I got you, I'ma go into this mile. You got 1500 life points left? I got you, I'ma go Volcasaurus to end your life right there. The best feeling ever with this deck was top decking Zombre for game. He was a one card XYZ. Another mention, I did really well during YCS Toronto 2013. I actually went 8 1 with this deck during day 1, losing to only Patrick Hoban in round 9 at table number 1. So, with these reasons, I give Constellar my 5th spot in my top 5 favorite decks of all time. Coming in at number 4, we got Elemental Heroes. Y'all know who Jaden is. A very fun, positive, and a charismatic character from Yu Gi Oh! GX series. He's literally the reason why I love this deck. The artwork on Elemental Hero Avion, Bersinatrix, and even Bowman looks amazing. By the way, doesn't Bowman kind of look like Batman? Anyway, back on topic. Elemental Heroes are such an amazing archetype. You got different variants of this deck, such as Gemini Heroes, where you just abuse Alias and Gemini Spark. You got Fusion Gate Heroes. The Absolute Zero and the Shining combos were insane in this deck. You break your opponent's board with Absolute Zero, then use Fusion Gate to bring out Shining with 3800 plus attack. It's crazy. Next, the deck evolved into Bubble Beat, when you literally abuse Bowman into Blade Armor and Excalibur. Man, these decks will still be possible if Konami soon realizes the damage they have done to us hero players. But hey, they never listen. Anyway, bring back Stratos! To be honest, I don't even want to mention this deck as one of my top decks of all time, but if I didn't, I'd be lying. <sighs> I gotta do it. I freaking love windups. For those of you who experience this deck at full power, then you'll know exactly why this deck is on my list. XYZ over XYZ, the amount of special summons this deck can do in one turn is insane. Don't forget the hand loop. To be honest, this is why I love the deck so much, it's because of the hand loop. What better way to play Yu-Gi-Oh than not let your opponent play Yu-Gi-Oh at all, right? This deck was super super stupid, but for those of you who actually played the deck, you gotta agree with me. It had to be one of the most powerful and most enjoyable decks you would actually ever play. Even when they banned Zen Mighty, this deck was still powerful. It was so powerful they even had to hit Wind Up Magician. In this deck, you got Wind Up Rat as a monster reborn of the deck. You gotta review the special summon monster Wind Up Shark, who makes your rank 3s and rank 5 XYZs possible. You got Wind Up Magician that tutors out these monsters. You got broken XYZs such as Zen Mighty and Zen Mayo who tutors out more monsters and pop back row. You got Wind Up Hunter, which snipes cards out of your opponent's hand. Don't forget the search card, Wind Up Factory, who's able to add infinite of resources to your hand. Side note, I actually had this deck myself in the highest rarity possible. I lend this deck to my friend during the Abyss Rising sneak peek, then someone stole it. But on the good side, my friend paid me back. With these reasons, I put Wind Up at my number 3 spot. Oh boy, you guys should already know this by now, but what other deck do I love aside from Six Samurai? If you didn't, Coming in at my number 2 spot is Black Wings. Oh man, this deck was my very first competitive deck. The reason why I started to play this deck was because of Crow from Yu-Gi-Oh 5Ds. The insane combo plays that you can do with this deck was absolutely amazing. Summon Shura, Special Minbora, Attack, Activate Shura, Special Gale, Attack Attack, Main Phase 2, Armor Master equals crazy. Not to mention, summoning Gale to run over Starter's Dragon gotta be one of the best feelings ever. You got cards like Kalute, which is your, your built-in honest of the deck, which you can activate multiple times on one monster, so this card stacks. You got your built-in search card, Black Whirlwind, who adds all your monsters to your hand. You got support cards such as Acres Attack, who interrupts a lot of combo plays. Even your built-in Heavy Storm, Delta Crow Anti-Reverse. This deck was super competitive and topping many events during their time, and in my opinion, it's still a very competitive deck, but a very underrated deck till today. 
Are you guys ready for my number one? Are you ready? Coming in at my number one, we got Moki Moki. Yes, guys, Moki Moki. The reason why I love this deck so much is just look at Moki Moki. Look at Moki Moki. Look at him. This guy's a boss. Look at him. Look at the cute question mark in his face. Look at the big square body that it has. Just look at Moki Moki, guys. Look at him. Look at him. Stare at Moki Moki. <laughs> got <he. laughs> Of course, you guys all know what my favorite deck is. It is Six Samurais. This deck is the reason why I built this channel. I taught many locals, YCS, even Dragon Duels with this deck during the time. And the reason why I love this deck so much is that it's super, super explosive. Summon Regeki, Special Summon, Special Kazan, Special Summon Grandmaster, Overlay, Synchro. You're open to countless possibilities with this deck. You got cards such as Spirit, which boosted monsters attack. Hand of the Six Samurais, which destroyed monsters. Big boss monsters such as Grandmaster. Masters and Shogun Sheen. Opening up Gateway of the Six Samurai guaranteed you game if you had the right monsters in your hand. You can potentially make a huge board with Sheen, Nat Beast, Barkeon, and even Shockmaster turn one by just opening up Gateway. This card was super broken, especially while it was at three. This deck was crazy since you were able to search an infinite amount of cards in one turn as long as you had counters. You can even search from your graveyard to your hand, which is crazy. You got cards like Sheen, which negated spells and trap cards, Nat Beast, which negated spells, Barkeon, which negated traps. Everything in this deck just negates, and my favorite phrase to use in this deck is negate. Activate spell, negate. Activate monster reborn, negate. Everything just negates in this deck. Another thing why I love this deck so much is that you're able to push your explosive plays without worrying about back row since you had cards like Sheen and Barkeon to negate then. If you guys didn't know, this deck was able to hand loop as well. And their artwork looks amazing. Just look at Sheen, guys. This card's a boss. With these reasons given, this puts my six samurais at my number one spot. So yes guys, here are my top 5 favorite decks of all time. If you guys enjoyed this segment, be sure to smash that like button for more videos. What top 5 videos should I do next? Make sure you leave it down in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace out guys!